So who brought you over from Ireland, Tom? Where you, you know, you obviously ride in there. And was Piper your first job, or? Um, I came to uh, um, I came to England in 1994. So I did, and um, to the late Toby Balding, uh, Claire's Toby uncle. Balding. Yeah, cool. I knew I, Toby. Yes, Toby very kindly offered me a job, and. Um, I, I came to Toby's and, and I was very lucky. He got me an agent, Dave Roberts, who's absolute, you know, the, the be all and end all in terms of racing. You can't survive without him. And, and, and it kind of just took off. Like I, I, four and a half years in Jim Bulger's, I rode nine winners in four and a half years when I was trying to be a flat jockey. And when I came to England, I basically, I was lucky enough to be champion, a conditional champion apprentice. And then, for the next sort of 20 years, I was lucky enough to be champion jockey. So a lot of thanks to, to Toby and Dave Roberts to get me started. And then I started riding for the first year I was champion jockey. I was a freelance jockey. I rode a lot for Philip Hobbs and Paul Nichols and for, and for, um, for Toby. And then, then the following seven and a half years, I rode for Martin. Yeah. I mean, did it, so, did it was amazing time, wasn't it? Martin Pipe really, when you look back on it, how them horses, just seemed to get, you know, when you used to go off a lot of the time from the front and just run, it was like you were fitter than everybody. It just seemed incredible. I mean, did, did he have a real amazing training methods or something there? It just seemed. Do you know what, Harry? He was just way ahead of his time. He just, yeah. you know, the greatest compliment that has been paid to Martin Pipe is that everyone copies him now. Do you know, every, everyone does what he did. And, you know, there was, it was very sad at the time. I remember talking to him about it, having the Cook report around and, different things and he, he just he was very scientific he was just he, he treated racehorses like athletes you know and it was so much into their health and and uh, you know and, and and just it was very you know very scientific but very simple and and um and and basically i say the greatest compliment to him is that everyone does now what he did 30 years ago so it's just ahead of his time and um uh, just uh, look he, he was a winner you know he, I mean, he just wanted to win and he was very good at it. 